Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ghetto Exodus Media. This is the second video of my series, Hustle and Motivate. I painted these little flyers and I'll be getting the word out. I'll be going and handing out these little flyers to get some more subscribers. As you all know from the second video, I mentioned that one of the goals is to get, or I need to get 10,000 subscribers to make this project a success. So please subscribe, enjoy the video, and listen to Steve Harvey. I'm gonna tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. Now, I'll tell you why I call it jumping. When you see people in life, when you're standing on the cliff of life and you see people soaring by, when you see people soaring, going to exotic places, you hear about them doing wonderful things. Maybe you look up the street and your neighbor just gets a car every year, every two years. You know, how is he doing that? Have you ever thought, maybe this person right here has identified their gift and is living in their gift. You just gotta quit looking at gifts as running, jumping, singing, and dance. It's more than that. It's if you know how to network, if you can connect dots, if you draw, if you teach. Some of y'all fry chicken better than anybody else. Bake pie. Some of you cut hair, color hair. Your gift, not your education. You go get an education, that's nice. But if you don't use your gift, that education only gonna take you so far. I know a lot of people got degrees, man. Thing they ain't even using. It's your gift. But the only way for you to soar is you got to jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. That gift opens up and provides the soar. If you don't ever use it, you're going to just go to work. And if you're getting up going to work on a job every day that you hate going to, that ain't living, man. You just existed. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living like, you gotta jump. And here the problem. Let me just be real with you. When you first jump, let me tell you something. Your parachute will not open right away. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're gonna hit them rocks. You're gonna get some skin tore off on them cliffs. You're gonna get all your clothes tore off. You're going to get some cuts on you. You're going to be bleeding pretty bad. But eventually, eventually, the parachute has to open. That ain't a theory. That's a promise. Here's another thing. You can play it safe and deal without the cuts and the tags. And you can stand on that cliff of life forever safe. But if you don't jump, I got another promise I can make. Your parachute will never open. You'll never know. If I were you, I would jump. Because that's the only way to get to that abundant life. You got to jump, man. You got to take a chance. Now, when I get through talking, there are those of you who have discussed this in the car. Well, I got bills. Whether you stay on the cliff or you jump, you're going to have bills. Well, if I quit my job, I'm going to ruin my credit. If you got a job, you live in check to check. Even if you got A1 credit, you can't buy nothing else no damn way. At one point in time, man, do yourself a favor. Before you leave this world, before you die, jump. Just jump one time. Just jump. Thank you very much.